What I'm about to discuss is a sensitive subject, and this may serve as a trigger warning for topics related to sexual abuse and rape. In this video, I will be covering the Netflix series, Monsters, The Lie and Eric Menendez Story, the second installment of the Monster Anthology series by Ryan Murphy and Ian Brennan. Before diving into this series, let's first review the actual case. The Lie and Eric Menendez story recounts the events of August the 20th, 1989, when two brothers killed their parents and the circumstances surrounding the brutal murders. Both Lie and Eric were convicted of first degree murder and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. During the trials, the brothers claimed years of abuse led them to kill their parents while the prosecution argued that their real motive was to gain control of the family's fortune. Several family members testified in court, sharing their interaction with the brothers or witnessing the abuse by their father. One key witness was their cousin Andy, who testified twice, recounting how Eric confided in him about what happened between him and his father. I can't tell which parts was fabricated in this series, but what I do know, there was a lot of controversy regarding this show. The real Eric had something to say about the show. I will link the article in the comment below and let's just say Eric wasn't happy about the series. Monster's decision to have the theory of incest was criticized even more because both brothers accused Jose of abuse. La claimed his father started to molest him when he was 6 years old and stopped 2 years later. As a result of the trauma, La revealed that he had sexual assault Eric as well. Eric also revealed starting getting abused by his father when he was 6 years old and it continued until weeks before the murder. It is debatable whether this is true or not. Each episode dives in darker and sinister especially when they talk about what happened. It's also graphic as well and it shows everything. In episode 5 was very detailed of the sexual abuse what Eric was saying was heartbreaking. I like how the director focused the camera on Eric the entire episode and we see his body language and facial expression. It allows the audience to see Eric's perception and point of view. The series also shows the background of the father and mother and how they met. It comes in full circle of what Eric was saying to the lawyer about his past. There was a lot of mistakes that Lyle made during the trial which was mind blowing. And also, I want to say that there was two different perceptions during the series. It was the perception of the brothers and it was the perception of the parents. So it was two different sides of the coin. Now, the lawyer, Leslie, was the attorney for Eric Menendez in addition to her work on the Menendez case. Leslie has defended a slew of clients accused of murder with only one Ricky Sanders. Now, lie, he had his own lawyer in the series which I didn't know at the time the lawyer decided not to represent Lai anymore because Lai decided to talk to a fan that basically he just spewed everything what was going on and she turned it out to a book and basically had recorded him the entire conversations that he had with her. Another thing with the lawyer, which is Leslie, she told the Washington Post at the time of the 1996 retrial that she represented people charged with the murder for 27 years and these guys just don't measure up to anybody else I've ever represent. They are not murderers. She also said that in the line in the TV series as well. These are troubled kids in a very difficult and grotesque home environment and they cracked. Now what is not in the series that I believe that they do not talk about is how Leslie has faced an investigation from the State Bar of California for supposed evidence tampering as related to the civilian's case. Maintaining that she did nothing wrong, the attorney told Washington Post that I've been a member of the bar for 27 years and they want to investigate, I welcome that. Though the disbarment was on the table, the lawyer pushed through the allegations and continued her legal career. The investigation into her was eventually dropped due to the insignificant evidence. Well, Eric had confessed to his therapist that Eric and Lai killed their own parents. Now, at the brother's first trial in 93, the 
Third Pence testify about the confessions of the prosecution, then endure a witness cross-examination designed to undermine his credibility and deflect the attention from the slaying, and most of it had to do with the stormy detail of the affair with the woman named Miss Smith. Now, Miss Smith had testified in the TV series and basically was saying verbatim, word for word, of what happened that originally had happened in real life regarding her had to do 500 sex acts and also stated that the therapist um basically had made her take um all these different types of prescription drugs and also assaulted her as well now the writers briefly touched on john sweeney case which was incredible shocking the way the victim's father, Mr. Dunn, described what happened to his daughter was heartbreaking as well. It's unbelievable that Sweeney was sentenced to less than three years and later found working as a chef at a fancy restaurant. What's even more surprising is how the story connects to the victim, which is Dominique Dunn, who started in the 1982 movie Portuguese. Then Eric Selmay that was next to him was O.J. Simpson and not to mention they both had the same lawyer before Leslie Kane. This series was interesting but it was also drawn out. Do it deserve 9 episodes? Absolutely not. I would have been fine for 3 or 5 episodes. I felt like it was just very long and like I said some of this stuff may be fabricated and there is a lot of things that's going on online where people are discussing of how fabricated it is now i would not watch this again i'm just going to be honest um it's not like the first season of jeffrey dahmer it's not like that at all i guess it's because that it had a different tone to it i'm gonna rate the series a six out of a ten let me know what you think of the series i would love to hear your thoughts on it Thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe and until then, see you later.